sick dude. He did his thing. Look at that. Jesus Christ right there, baby. Congratulations, brother. Those are the words of Andy. The destroyer Ruiz, as he congratulates Alexander Usyk, you know, he was at home. It looks like he was at home, you know, maybe drinking on some Coronas and, you know, taking it in, you know, watching the event. And, you know, it's symbolic for him because he was the first one to take those belts from Anthony Joshua. Of course, he lost them back, but he was the first to do it. He was the first of Mexican descent to do it. And he's seen someone else get through it, too. Right. And. You know, it's um, it's interesting to see these type of things develop in the sport of boxing, you know, and it's also interesting to see all the hatred and all the shock. I mean, shock is one thing, but hatred is totally different, you know, and, and it, you know, it's good that Andy has that type of mindset initially, like, hey, that was a good fight, you know, and I'm, you know, congratulations because he know what it, he knows what it was like to be in that particular situation. And in fact, Andy, I think he was celebrating a lot more harder. You know what I mean? That big jump up and down was, the, that should be a, a, a gift, right? <laughs> it probably is. But, you know, he definitely celebrated the uh, triumphant time where he was able to dethrone Anthony Joshua in Madison Square Garden. And I'm glad that he, you know, is a good sport with um, celebrating and congratulating uh, Alexander Usyk you know, and having some sense of nostalgia when t when thinking about when he done it back in June of 2019. Now, this is something I want to counterpunch. Uh, I've always thought of a matchup with Alexander Usyk and, a and Andy Ruiz. I think that would be a pretty good fight. I mean, for both fighters, uh, I think it would give Andy Ruiz the opportunity to first off. Um, test out the Reynoso's gym, you know, not someone that, you know, uh, like uh, seasoned Chris Ariola. no, someone in their prime, someone that's quick, someone that does know how to move and has that, you know, uh, terrific footwork, which, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people don't like, especially when they can't hit their targets. So they're runners. I think this was a perfect opportunity for a fight like that to be made. You know, I know Anthony, I know Andy Ruiz wanted the Joshua fight. He wanted to be the fill in, uh, or the stand-in for Usyk if something happened with Usyk. You know, let's try Andy Ruiz versus Alexander Usyk. Let's try that because, you know, again, I did a video uh, about this maybe a couple months ago, the opportunity or the possibilities and how that fight would actually come forward. And I think that would really be a good fight because Andy then could show that he can cut off the ring, can show he can, that he can deal with people that are uh, uh, movers and boxers. You know, it would be a perfect opportunity for Andy, the destroyer, Ruiz to get back in there. You know what I mean? He might not get the payday like he's accustomed to, but I definitely know that he'll get the glory. Nothing wrong with number one taking on number two. Number one is the first to do it. Number two is the, the second to get through it bars. So I think those guys could come together and make a great fight together, you know. But anyway, that's just my counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think about Andy Ruiz congratulating Alexander Usyk. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.